okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the First Owner RTG, the Cruyff to Glory, the First Owner PM RTG, whatever you want to call it. I apologize because you guys didn't get a 6 p.m. epi today, but um, I ended up missing going live on stream to get the 6 p.m. epi done because, first of all, I wanted to watch the Leeds Wolves game, and honestly, man, that just was the craziest game to watch ever. I'm so glad we got the 1-1. One -one. Um, the equalizer late, Gelhart coming on, what an absolute baller he was for us, man. Somerville coming on for Rafinha, got injured. Size should have been red carded for that foul on Rafinha. Um, but anyways, it was a crazy game. All things considered, eight of our, our most needed starting 11 players are out right now. So the fact that we managed to play the way we did, we were a little bit apprehensive, I would say, in the final third. You could tell the weight of, like, all of Yorkshire was on the Leeds players, especially all the players coming in for injured players. You can see Rodrigo's touch was heavy. Uh, you could see the back line. You could see Pascal Stroik as much as he was trying the weight of him trying to replace Calvin Phillips. And, um, you know, even, even Jamie Shackleton at right back, I like him, but you could just see how nervous he was playing and how much under pressure he was, uh, you know, to try and deliver a performance like Ailing was doing. And on the left side of the field, even Dallas, as much as I love him, you know, trying to, trying to, uh, get that type of work rate in that we're missing from Firpo and all that. So it was, it was tough and it has been tough this year. I'm sure as many Leeds fans would attest watching our team playing with basically our under 23s everywhere and, and our bench full of under 18s. And that's just, I'm sure injury issues that all clubs go through, but we've been so unlucky. And now it looks like Rafinha is going to be out for months and months and months from that horrific tackle from size. So it's just going to go from bad to bad to bad for us. However, Getting that draw, and actually, I truly believe we deserve to win that game with how many chances we created. Gelhart created a beautiful chance, had a shot, wonder saved by, who's Wolves goalkeeper? Saw, I believe. So, anyways, end of the day, I'm so happy Gelhart earning the pen, and then um, Rodrigo slotting it away to make it 1-1. I think that's the least we deserved from that game. So, I'm very happy with everything that we got going on right now with injuries, the fact that we got a 1-1, and man... I gotta say, like, the, the crowd at Ellen Road, Leeds fans are just incredible, man. Down, you know, a big part of the game, just chanting and, and willing the team on like crazy. I think a big part of Gelhart earning that pen was the amount of pressure the fans were, were and, and hype the fans were building up into the game. So that was pretty incredible to see. Nevertheless, that is why I'm late. I also went to see my son's soccer game, um, of which they lost, but he played beautifully. He played at left wing and uh, got himself a goal. Bielsa would have been proud of it. High pressing the defenders, forcing them into a mistake, then winning the ball off the uh the press and beating the keeper with his weak foot mind you so it was great watching my son's game too and i'm ready for the day's grind so because we missed 6 p.m content let's actually see i i have i honest to god have no idea what content has been released did we get a, an extra player added into the setup okay so nothing in terms of gameplay we do have uh just from grinding squad battles and whatnot this completed i these guys were dead the day they came out. Like, they were just poor cards the, the day FIFA launched, really. So for me, I'm probably going to go with the MLS striker, just in case I end up needing an MLS striker. At least we've got a good one. Argentinian striker, we've got a good one. So I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy. Does he walk out? Wow. Does Season's card just walk out now, or have they always walked out? All right, that's uh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not upset about that. We'll throw him into the club. So that's all good. We do have some packs to open as well for the Epi. Trying to pack some more of these RTTK players. That De Jong I need desperately. Now, what about uh, squad builder challenges? Did we get a player or anything added today? Oh, a Politano is cool. I mean, I think no matter what, we could use him for our Serie A squad. So absolutely, am I going to unlock him? We built a new team, as you guys saw there, for Weekend League. It was a rough Weekend League yesterday, boys. Uh, we went four wins, three losses. And the delay was to the point where I turned the stream off after our seventh game. I was so angry at how bad uh, the, the the gaming experience was. So we've got a long way to go, boys. I mean, I, I don't think rank one, 16 wins is, is really looking realistic for this week. Even rank two, man. If today's servers and gameplay are as bad as they were, uh yesterday why does every time i go into a new SBC it freezes the game i gotta restart the game so anyways we'll try and play five six seven games today see how it goes if it's horrifically delayed though i'll probably just wait till tomorrow to play our games maybe we'll get up to 10 games today and then we'll play our final 10 games uh tomorrow 
on, of course, Sunday in hopes that uh, it's a little bit better. I guess tomorrow we also get three more players added into the setup. So that's good. I don't find Politano looks that expensive. I don't really know how... Um, it, like Napoli's upgrade track is. Are, are, do they have an easy group? I know nothing about Napoli's Europa League group. So I'd have to have a, a look at their standings to see if they're going to be able to get through. But I think he looks to be a very, very, very solid card and not that expensive at all. I really hope it doesn't freeze again. There we go. So 83 rated with an RTTK player. Okay. And so we'll wait until we get a dupe, right? Uh, RTTK, maybe another tap soba. Seems like that's all we can pack right now. And okay, I'm happy. I'm going to get them both. We're obviously going to get ourselves a, a Bernardo Silva too. Once again, at least with no man left behind now, we have two players that we're trying to craft that we can put dupes into we've got marquee matchups put dupes into do we get another extra um pack or anything at all from ea no okay so i mean you know what man saturdays i don't think i'm too upset if i miss certain saturdays if i want to go watch my son's uh soccer game in terms of 6 p.m content doesn't really seem like we get too too much crazy content from ea so why don't we start with uh the one rare i don't actually remember what this is from but not like there's going to be anything nuts in it there you go so it's just a good way to restock the club and it's like one of oh no you know what i was going to say one of 20 rares no because of all those peepees and uh packs we've opened in the last day i guess our club's pretty stacked full of rare players isn't it so that'll be interesting all right so there's the one rare pack let's bop open premium gold pack so 7.5k pack tradable what are these from why don't I remember what these are from? Are these just from SBCs? Maybe player SBCs? Is that what it's from? From uh, Fofana, potentially? These all sell right now. That doesn't. That I'm going to actually keep. We'll keep that. Yeah, I think it, it is from Fofana, actually. Okay, then what do we got? A mini jumbo gold pack, or I guess a not premium jumbo gold pack with three rares only. Nothing there. Oh, man. But all of this sells. We know that for a fact. I'm even selling bronze stuff right now. That might sell. So let's just throw it up there to sell later. Um, do I need to show you guys all the sales? So these all sold. All of these sold. Which is... Oh, no. Sorry. All of these sold. Lol. There you go. So we are, we are clearing out the trade pile nicely. Gelhart makes my pants wet. Dude, Gelhart is so sick, man. He's so good. The fact that he had the confidence to do that to the Wolves backline. He, when he was attacking the Wolves backline, he was attacking like eight defenders on his own. Walking through them, like dribbling through them all. It was it was nuts. He should have scored too. He had a really beautiful opportunity. Saw saved it. I think if he put it on left or right, it was going in the net. But fired it kind of high towards Saw-ish. So he was able to make a pretty big save. But yeah, kid is kid is fantastic, man. Love watching him. Uh, oh, we got a shadow too. So strike it or center forward, we can sell. All that stuff is pretty discardable. We could sell that too. Put that all on the bench as dupes. Yeah, like I, I've watched a lot of Gelhart in, in our under 23s. The fact that we got him for, what was it? Under a mil, I think, from Wigan, was it? Man, Lewis Bate from Chelsea for about a mil. Like we've gotten so, we have so much talent in our under 23s right now for Leeds. It make, makes me very, very excited. Very, very excited. All right, so nothing there yet. Again, throw these guys all up for sale. We'll get rid of that. We'll sell that. That can go. Ooh, Brazil kit will probably sell. That, restocking the club nicely. Yeah, one mil from Wigan. Did I say Wigan or I don't know if I said West Brom or Wigan. So here are our... Um, so the rare, one rare mega pack was from the uh, Friendly Grind. I don't actually remember where the other rare mega pack is from. Oh, I think from uh, Division 2, Rank 1, maybe? All right, so let's get our rewards. I mean, uh, let's get our Division 2 rewards open here as well. Why not? Maybe we can get something. We got boards from our first 50k. Not that great, unfortunately. Maybe we get... Is there, could there even be a dangler of an 83 or something? There is. A mana loss. 150k value. <laughs> if you know, you know. 
you don't, well, you think I'm a psycho. But anyways, we move on. Some men left behind. It's fine. We got so many coins to work with that we're not really struggling for coins. Um, now, let's do these rare, these two rare mega packs and the 50k pack here. Until we get at least a semi-decent rated player. So, boards again. Right wing. Another. Well, there you go. There's a dupe that I'm going to have to deal with here. That's too bad. He was a special last week. So now we're stocking up the club at least. With usable items. MLS, I don't think I'll need. I don't think I'll need any of that. Pretty sure mine's untradeable, right? Yeah. Um, Dumfries. Okay. All right. So in terms of the intro, I'm going to call it there. Let's just deal with these items. For today's grind uh, that you're going to see within the epi, there should be a good amount of gameplay. And we are going to continue and open these packs in increments as well. So let's get into it. Three ratings off. See? See? That, my friends, is how you turn the BPM grind into even more packs. You see? Every single team we did with silvers, or because the first team you needed to do silvers, or a couple of golds from the gold two-player upgrade grind, and bronzes. Look at that. We have a bunch more packs saved up, and we're going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to rinse the rest of my club. Because we have so many untradeables into these before we open more packs. Let's get it. I like I'm I'm I honestly might just not find games. Let's see how this is. This dropped to four bar, but if I just search for a clean game, I might never find a game, man. So let's see. Very cool team. Bro, I mean this, yeah, this could just be a rough weekend, Hello, boys. We'll see. Welcome. See if we can try and lock up a couple of good performances even in delay. Absolutely. Now try. That guy was getting smashed. Oh my god. First good goal from Rodrigo, really, so that's uh that's a W boys. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that. Every win is gonna give us uh five packs. I'm gonna see here though. Oh, did the other packs disappear? Oh no, there they are. Rare Electrum, premium electrum. All right, let's bop the premium electrum. These are tradable anyway, so this is all from marquee matchups, basically from the BPM grind. Let's see if we can get anything at all. You never know. First one awards. So, hope we can get some sort of decent items in here. Anything that has a sale price. I think this guy would sell him. And the main nation seem to have a good value right now. So... We'll check that real quick. Oh, we can do the mini prime too. Why not? Uh, we'll get the mixed player pack. So that's pack number two. Again, you never know, right? When your luck is in, your luck is in. So even this cra relatively crappy pack could have something crazy in it. It's happened before. Not this time. Um... I think Brazil players have a value. These two will check as well. You receive one win, we receive five packs. Yes, sir. That's good motivation, right? Um, okay, so this is pack number three. Do I use this way school of trading methods? Buy high and sell low? Absolutely. I mean, for me, I don't really ever have to sell. I only buy to put into SBCs, brother. Well, my bit of trading with OTWs paid off, though. We made pretty big money on the few OTWs. I've got a bunch of other OTWs that we still bought back then and just haven't sold. Yeah, I'm going to keep all of that stuff, though. Um, maybe this center back might sell. Can't imagine an Axel Witzel will have any price beyond discard, right? I'm going to keep him. Too cheap to let go. Zoe lost like two to 300k yesterday. Wait, what did he do yesterday to even get anywhere near losing that much? What, is he trying to trade? Oh no, that would be amazing content if Zway tried to trade. Didn't sell all his players, and then you guys are saying he did sell his players. So which is it? Okay, the boards again. Poor Zway. Um, 
Oh, Netherlands players might still be up in price. I'll check all of these guys, and then I'll put them back in the club. We got to sell some players. Why is he even selling players? All right, final, final pack of five. Ew. <laughs> it's not good. Not good for these five boys, but that's all right. Every win means we get another one. Another set of five. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I think with champs, I will not find games. I just have to go into bad connections. We'll just try and battle through, boys, in delay. We'll do our best. Second game and a bad connection. Let's see how this one goes. Short corner, let's see. Mbappe, goalkeeper getting in the way. It's superb see of the passing game. Craig, well, getting in the way. Superb. Ronaldo, must be, and it should have been it. An effective challenge. And a good looking ball. It could be for Mbappe. That is a tackle and a half. Mbappe regained possession. Lovely ball over the top. Well, he went for power, but he might be having second thought. I must say, this looks prop. Might be a chance here. Well, there's a keeper. Never have I seen well, someone be back. so f brain dead in their football be rewarded so much. This guy makes no look panic passes all across the field. Not once have I been able to punish him for it. And he's created like eight huge opportunities in front of the net because he's just nonsensically just throwing the ball at the pitch. Why is this game turning to just pure RNG now? Why? They favored a short one here. His play is over to the near post. Attack continues. They're making considerable progress. A wide in the end, albeit narrowly. Possession given away, unfortunately. Oh, in with a chance. It's got to be. And the keeper nowhere to be found. No, he's complaining. Oh, moving it nicely. Could be. And stopped there by Danny Carvajal. Now, sending it in. It didn't happen for them. And that is the end of the contest of not a happy... How do you play consecutive games? I'd be upset about that. Because who cares? Champ sucks anyways. Like, dude, I, I, I've i gone rank one and rank two and got not gotten anything, dude. I, I could quit right now and probably get better rewards from whatever four wins gets you than 16 wins. So it really just doesn't matter. And once again, don't ask me about players in the team, guys. Please. In, in, in this type of gameplay, every player feels useless. I mean, I can't even t score easy goals with Cruyff. Like, even Johan Cruyff is missing open nets, man. I know it was Alfonso Davies oh, there to make it 1-1, or I think it was 1-1. Maybe even 2-1 with 10 minutes to go, and he just can't even hit the target. So, it is what it is. Test. Jesus. And under pressure, that was a I just got knocked play. over waiting to tap that in there. That, I mean, I feel like that should just be a pen. Mbappe's literally in on net, but before he goes to tap the ball and he gets knocked over. Like, what, how is that fair? Able to get a body in the way. Gabriel Jesus! That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And that's great work to keep it in play. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And there it is! The deadlock has been broken! 
pace. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. Here's Mbappe. Like, his AI bails him out with, like, taking the ball away there before I can even fucking shoot. Can bring it out now. Good tackle. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. And there it is, the final whistle. I don't think I've lost to a good FIFA player this weekend. I've literally just lost to the fucking worst players ever, man, which is such a concern, dude, because usually I'm able to dispatch those types of players. You'll inevitably match like really good FIFA players in a weekend league. Of course you will. Last weekend, we, we got smashed by a couple of great players. My concern is that I'm dropping games to like actual bad players that just... I have five expected goals, can't score goals to save my life. They hit one lucky counterattack where they like nonsensically pass up the field, score to go one nothing up, and then I can't do anything. It's uh, been a weird weekend, man. I, I like I, it, the, the delay has been really bad, but I, it, does, it still doesn't excuse this amount of losses, man. Right? Surely! Nicely blocked! And the verdict of the officials... Okay, so he missed an open net tap-in and then blocked Johan Cruyff's shot. Is Rodrigo being paid by my opponents? Like, what... What is going on? Like, are my opponents paying Rodrigo to throw games? What is fucking happening here? He's very effective, as his goal-scoring record tells us. He's a big Short corner it is. Mbappe. Happy to take on the shot. And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. Visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing oh, to Oh, it's extent. developing nicely for them here. Oh, that is an audacious chip. Well, it's a weighted pass. Perfectly defended, yep. Literally beautifully defended his one chance of the game, and it I, I go to clear the ball, drops right to his player for first time, no look tap in. Alright. Can they convert? And it goes. Mbappe. And it goes. Mbappe. Can he take advantage? A lovely attempt. What a goal. What a goal. Phil Foden. Phil Foden's been good since he's come on, that's for sure. <laughs> GG. Look at that delay, though. My God. My God. That should be enough gameplay for YouTube, I think, boys. I think we're going to call it there for the YouTube epi. I'm, I'm too burnt out to keep this going, uh, at least for a recording for YouTube. But uh, we're 7-5. and five. Leaves us eight games for tomorrow. I'm going to continue and play some off of uh, stream. Or, sorry, off the YouTube recording. We're going to play some just directly on stream. So let's rip at least ten packs to end off the epi here. Of which we'll finish with a uh, rare mega and a rare player pack. So we should have a good couple of packs to open here. Not just the two rare gold players. So let's see how we do. Bernardo's team of the year was four star, four star, right? From what I can remember. Yeah, we got to do the preview packs too. I keep forgetting. Maddie Cash going to be playing for Poland, which is pretty awesome. Only his freeze was. Was his team of the year too? All right, I take that back then. Dude was right. I could have sworn that um, uh, Bruno was was four star, four star. 
goes to show how little I know. Maybe just his, the first year, like, he moved over to Man United, he was 4-star, 4-star in FIFA 19? That was his first year, wasn't it? Bruno? Yeah, we're talking Bruno, though. Aren't we talking about Bernardo? Oh, we are talking about Bernardo, and this entire time I thought we were talking about Bruno. Yeah, so Bruno was 4-star, four 4-star. Four star. Okay. People sweating their asses off in fuck champs. I mean, you can't blame them, right? It's a competitive game mode. Like, I, uh, I, I don't really blame people for being sweat freaks, uh, even in, in Rivals. It's annoying sometimes, but whatever. For me, I'm, I'm just more upset with gameplay, man. Like, I did nothing different that game that I won 6-1 than any of the games we lost today, won nothing or whatever. I, I did nothing different, man. Honestly. And to, for one game to go 5 or 6-1 where the chances, the good chances you create go in. The next game you create double the good chances and, and don't score any. It just gets a bit frustrating, that's all. I, I, either way, I shouldn't be letting it get to me, but it, it just it just does. It, uh, it really just does. I'm actually kind of glad that that's tradable. Because we can throw them up top to sell them later. That's champ's brain. I don't think that's champ's brain, too. I either, brother. I don't think I have done anything wrong. Wow, look at the delay. Oh, my lord. I don't think I've done really anything wrong to suffer the consequences of those losses today already. Like, what was that? Three losses today? Or two, two losses today? Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Nice tradable as well. Check the price, check the price, check the price. Check all those prices. Alright, let's finish with a rare mega pack from the objective and then the final um the final rare player pack. Who's that? Oh! Cheeky little Lukaku! Okay. Not bad. So that was from the uh the, the week's friendly. Right? For the rare mega pack, guys? Or hold on. No, that was from the using silver players. That's from the silver whatever. Yes, of course he does look absolutely fantastic in a leads kit. Nice. All right. We get a cheeky little dangler as well. Maybe a Frankie? No. <laughs> this, I, I can't be too upset. Lukaku is still sick. We'll keep all of that. Uh, we'll keep that. That can go. We don't want any of that. And obviously the one we have is, oh, tradable. Even better. Even better. All right. So let's finish off the episode with this 50k pack. Just to touch base real quick because our Malika kind of reminded me to use the, this dude as a super sub. Uh, so as you would expect, he's awful. Uh, I know it was one game and, oh, I, actually... We brought him on for two games. I know for a fact we did. How crazy is that? It didn't count. The second game when I subbed him on and then subbed him off, it didn't count it. How uncanny is that? The game where we brought him on and then pulled a Bielsa because he was so bad and then subbed him off again, it only counted the one game where he stayed on until the end. Oh my god, that's kind of hilarious. Anyways, as you'd expect, he's awful. I can't say anything about this team other than Rodrigo. I just can't seem to score with him to save my life. Um, Fofana's fun to use. I do like him. I just think right now the gameplay is so tough that I, I feel like any... Even if I use my absolute dream team instead of a, a makeshift squad to try and use new players and stuff, I think no matter what, we'd be struggling, man. Like I, when, when I'm struggling to score with Cruyff and even Mbappe... I know that there's something wrong, whether it's with my gameplay, whether it's with maybe the style of play of my opponents. I mean, you guys all saw the games as well. Uh, whether it's just me not playing well, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong to, to change from scoring a bunch of goals to not scoring any, but having the same amount of, of high expected goals. So if you have any advice for me, let me know. We'll be back again tomorrow, regular time uh, to grind. So the 50k pack from Rivals Rewards gets us a wow. An 83 rated, uh, I was about to say Casper Dahlberg, but it absolutely isn't. It's an Emil Hoiberg with not many danglers at all. So we'll catch you beaters on the flip side. Hopefully Sunday is better. Peace.